Hey, welcome back everybody. I'm Lewis, and this is Metal Lens Reviews. What's up? So if this happens to be your first time here, and you're checking out my channel, you like what you see, thank you. Uh, please do me that favor, my friends, of like, comment, subscribe. As I mentioned before, it really helps me grow the channel, spread it to the masses, and of course motivates this guy to provide you more content to watch. Alright, well if you guessed what we're doing is reaction videos, you'd be right. Oh, this is, this is a kicker. Okay, so uh, Kanye West, or is it Yee? Alright, I'm gonna call him Yee, because that's what it says on Google. Uh, and Google is our god, after all. Just kidding. Um, anyway, um, Kanye West, what do I know about him? Everything on the media. Everything on TV, everything on the news, who he's associated with. Kim Jong knows Kanye West. Um, anyway, uh, like I said, I know of the man. Not so much as music. I know all the controversial stuff going on. All of you guys know this already. This song isn't that new. Um, in fact, just reading the title, it's uh, it's called Runaway, featuring Pusha T. Okay, so I didn't know it was a collaboration. I just literally how I set this up. Um, well, let me let me explain the backstory why I picked this. So normally I type in popular songs from you know said artist, and you know, I'll do any mini any mini money mo when it comes to my selection, just randomly pick one or whatever. Um, a friend of mine introduced me to this song. Uh, I was, I guess, drunk or high or maybe both. And, uh, I mean, to try and recite it or remember it, nope. Uh, so um, I was like, you know, why not? This is probably the most familiar. Uh, but then again, you know, like I said, this was in passing. And I'm not going to even recall anything of this song so I was like eh, let me check it out you know let me uh because like I said it's it was popular it's the, the views alone I think speak for it and I was like all right let me uh let me give it a shot you know and uh yeah this is really I can't stress this enough uh first time reaction um and just well you know you know grasping it because I you know part of my job here is to analyze these tracks and uh you know not to sound robotic at the same time so you know this should be interesting uh because this is completely new to me and uh yeah you know it's like trying anything new for the first time you gotta find your groove so you know this should be fun and interesting all right guys well, let me stop yapping this is uh kanye west with runaway or ye with runaway however you like to call him today um featuring Pusha T. So, yeah, we got a whole lot going on. All right, let me stop talking. Let's, see, let's hear this one. Got a plan, 
Run away fast as you can To find pictures in my email I sent this girl a picture of my Hey, I don't know what it is with females But I'm not too good at that hey. See, I can have me a good girl And still be addicted to them hood rats And I just blame everything on you At least you know that's what I'm good at and Okay, so two minutes in uh, I kind of wanted to play out, really, you know But uh, I know I have to interject and, you know, say my uh, two cents here But, um, yeah, okay so, all right, let me uh, come up with something here. Uh, all right, so, first of all, if YouTube lets me show the video, because sometimes they, they make me blur, you know, the popular stuff, um, the setup is nice. It's an ex excerpt of a film. I even I gotta know the backstory with this, because this is, like, professional. This is, like, movie-quality stuff. Not saying the rest of the videos that I've seen related to the genre or iffy, because they've been wonderful, too. Just this is, like, you know, it's different. Um, and, uh, yeah, his rap style is just kind of different, too. It, uh, like, so the standout to me is, um, he has a kind of like a, a sing-songy rap kind of style. I mean, I guess that's pretty common. Like I said, this isn't my particular genre, so I can't comment too much, but I could kind of analyze it as an outsider kind of looking in. Um, but yeah, it's, it's very, I guess if somebody who, I guess, was in my shoes wanted to kind of transition over to be introduced to, you know, this kind of music. I guess this would be a good direction. Like I said, it's because it's not aggressive in that manner. Um, but, it, you know, it works. It's it's very fitting, actually. I like it. I like the little classy feel to it with the, uh, the piano. Um, did he compose this song, too? I mean, I'm sure he wrote the lyrics, but I'm just curious how that how that works, you know. Um, any fans uh, of you, let me know down below. Is it, you know, is this his piece, like through and through? Uh, it beats the piano lines, the lyrics. Did he do all that, or is you know collaborators, whatever? You know, fill me in, because like I said, I want to be as you know in depth and real and knowledgeable as possible. In case you know you guys want me to do more, you know. Uh, anyway, so far so good. This is off to a great start. I'm only two minutes in. Um, but yeah, yeah, just really, really easy to listen to. It really has a nice vibe. Um, I heard he puts on great live shows. Because, uh, I, like I said, he's, he's, he's in the spotlight a lot. Whether it be for his music or, you know, whatever. The controversial stuff. I don't want to get into that. Um, but, you know, you definitely hear his name either way. Either way you look at it. He's in the spotlight. He's in the media through and through. Has that helped or hurt his career? I don't know. You guys tell me. Um, but so far, yeah, I'm digging it. You know, there's nothing bad I could say. This is a, it's a catchy song. It's got the bars. You know, the uh, just the flow, the way it's layered. It's nice. It's a nice combination of this R&B and rap and just classy feel to it mixed together. So that's that's right up my alley. I like that. Um, all right, let's keep going. And I always find, yeah, I always find, yeah, I always find something wrong. You've been putting up with much, it's just way too long. I'm so gifted at finding what I don't like the most. So I think it's time for us to have a toast. Let's have a toast for the douchebags. Let's have a toast for the toast for the have a toast for the scumbags Every one of them that I know Let's have a toast for the jerk offs that will never take work off Baby, I got a plan Run away fast as you can Run away from the baby Run away Run away from me, baby Run away, run away from me, baby. Run away, none of them get crazy. 
Why can't she just run away? Baby, I got a plan. Run away as fast as you can. Just wanted to uh, interject there. Um, you get a retell, even though this is, you know, what technically one of my first times reviewing a video, actually analyzing it, breaking it down, you know. Because, uh, you know, like I said, I know of him. I might have heard a song or two in passing, or maybe even briefly seen this, but I, you know, my memory, you know, I, I, there's no way I would have, I would have saved this in my memory banks, so, um, but you can kind of tell he's a, he's a performer, just the way he carries himself, the, I know this is a video, uh, but I imagine on stage, live performance wise, it's probably massive, it's big, I mean, once again, when you have, you know, a name on the board, especially, you know, when it comes to Kanye West, um, that's probably a sellout show. It draws in a lot of people, a lot of fans. I mean, like I said, he's big, and probably f for a reason, you know, like I said. And this is just a small sliver of, you know, what I'm being introduced to right now. But even even through this, this song right here, which is, uh, I'm probably sure, not his main song. I'm sure he's got many different you know, flows and styles when it comes to his music, um, but I could just tell, you know, you know when you, you, if you know it, you know it, you know what I mean, um, you could tell he's a performer, uh, he's very serious about his work, um, he's in the spotlight a lot, you know, whether it be negative or positive, um, whether it's hurt his career or not, I don't know, but I mean, personally, coming from me, from someone who's on the outside looking in, uh, yeah, I, I don't have a problem with the guy, you know, I'm, I'm just here, you know, checking out his music for like, you know, kind of like a first time and just, uh, you know, analyzing it, you know, making my brain kind of, uh, adjust to the music and it's, it is different. I will say that this is kind of not what I expected, you know, but then again, uh, these things are very, this was very kind of randomized, um, and it's, uh, yeah, yeah, it's a way different experience, but also easy. Like I said, somebody who's into, you know, heavier music, you know, that's not R&B or hip hop, this would be a good segue into that kind of world, I think. Uh, you know, whether you love or hate the guy, you know, you know, when you're, in, when you're introducing someone, you know, I tend to do this. I, I like that when people are interested all of a sudden into my music. I, I kind of slowly ease them in. Like, I'm, I would never... Someone who's just... I don't know. Who's like a pop fanatic or a you know, rap fanatic or whatever. You know, and being introduced to metal for the first time. I would never give them a... You know, uh, I would never shock them like, uh, like Cannibal Corpse or Slayer. I would introduce them to, you know... Maybe some, you know, Metallica's later stuff or something that's a little more you know, easy on the ears, you know what I mean? And I think this is what someone would probably introduce me to if I were to get into, you know, whether it be rap, hip-hop, you know, R&B, all that camp combination of stuff. Um, I know rap and hip-hop are like the same thing. But you know, you, know, you get the gist of what I'm saying. Um, this would be a good entry level, you know, into the world of this brand of music. And... Uh, because it's just, it's easy, it's an easy flow, you know, it's not aggressive, you know, it's just, I don't know, it's easier, you know, easier to comprehend, and just, uh, the, the melody is nice, like I said, it has a classy feel to it, somehow, I guess it's the piano, um, and the video is like a freaking work of art, you know, if YouTube lets me show it, um, but yeah, so far so good, you know, we're at the tail end here, we're gonna play it through, and I'll give you guys my final thoughts, all right? 24 7 365 she still stays on my mind i i i i did it all right all right i admit it now pick your next move you can leave or live with it it could buy cream with that mother we off top off split and go where back to where a knockoffs high knock it off neiman shop it off let's talk over my ties waitress top it off 
tour like poachers wanna fly in your Freddy loafers. You can't blame them, they ain't never seen Versace sofas. Every bag, every blouse, every bracelet comes with a price tag, baby, face it. You should leave if you can't accept the basics. Plenty of tools in a ball and bugging matrix. Invisibly set, the Rolex is faceless. I'm just young, rich, and tasteless. P. kind of ended abruptly there uh i feel like this is also kind of like an edited edited version of this video i don't know but um for that bit i got uh yeah very enjoyable uh there's nothing i could pick apart and say well you know i like this but no i mean i thought it was a very decent song i imagine it's played everywhere um i mean like i said i was kind of introduced to this you know vaguely from a friend of mine but um I, I might have heard it overhead in the store or, you know, my Uber driver might have been playing it. Like I said, I, there's no way I would recall it from memory like that. Um, but, you know, and the video, like I said, whoever was responsible for it, maybe it was E, I don't know. But um, that, that was well done. And uh, I hope YouTube lets me show it to you guys. But anyway, the music itself, him singing, rapping, whatever, it just, it, I don't know. It, it's a good representation, I guess, of this genre, you know, and then some, obviously, you know. Is, does everyone agree with Kanye West? Probably not. I know the guy has more controversial, you know, situations going on that I'd rather not get into. I don't want to pick sides. I don't want to do any of that. I'm here about the music. Did I enjoy it? Yes, I thought it was very entertaining. It just, you know, like I said, it was, it was easy. You know, I could vibe out to it you know it wasn't just you know it was a smooth song at the end of the day and I think even people that don't don't like him could appreciate that this um this song was a highlight you know especially probably when it came out you know and probably still relevant today you know um but yeah very interesting uh refreshing you know it was new or new new again for me I should say um but yeah, you know, for me to really analyze it, I would have to be like really in tune with the genre. And I'm just, you know, slowly moving, moving along, uh, depending on how well it does, you know. Yeah, I'll definitely, I'll keep going down this path. Uh, now normally uh, what I do is, you know, I go through the comment sections and just pull a random song. Or if you guys want to expedite that, I'm going to leave a link below. Um, buy me a coffee, which is just another way of supporting the channel. Or if you want to recommend a song, I'll definitely you know, put that on the top of the list, you know, um, totally up to you guys, uh, anyway, yeah, Kanye West would run away, or ye, whatever he's being called, um, yeah, I liked it, like I said, I thought it was a good representation and a good easy way for someone like me to kind of break into the genre, uh, it's on my first rodeo when it comes to this music, but for modern times and for as popular and respected of an artist as he is i totally get it i understand all right guys uh well for me at this point in the video thank you uh please like comment subscribe if you haven't already and as always my friends i'll see you all very very soon peace